because Lily, which there she is, is desperately wanting to come out. And I want to talk a little, little, little bit about just where my mind and body and everything is at the moment with life and Taking a, a really good look at it, and where I'm, where I'm at, and how I think and feel about my life and being with snakes, living with snakes, because in the reality, that is my life, and I can say honestly that these days. That is how I live, more within the world of here with my snakes than I do out there. And I don't think that makes me crazy or weird um, in any way. It is how I am. I revolve very much, as much as I can, around my snakes every day their needs and their requirements and what's going on for them and in some ways so many people they don't understand how I I am like that anymore and I don't think a lot like it, to be honest, but it is the way that I am. And when you've got, I'll turn you around, at this point, is very social. Um, I'm gonna open this door for her. Hey, sweet pea. See if she, she wants to come out because I know that she does. Um, I kind of need to turn off that air conditioning because uh, all you'll hear is the hum of the air conditioning. So she'll sense the air coming in there, but here's Jack chilling up there. I've actually got to feed Jack, Lily, Maya, um, a few few feeds today actually going on, but I won't film that um, at all. But I really wanted to, you know, just sort of talk about the fact that my day today is first and foremost what's going on with my snakes and what what they need. It is my life. And people question it. You know, there's more to life than sitting at home and being around your snakes. Yeah, there is. I can't avoid it. I, I'm in the life out there. Um, you know, I have to go shopping. I have to do all those things that we do. I've got family and, and grandchildren and and children in my home. So I can't be completely cut off from, from any of that. But I tell you what, there's days where I think I would really like to cut all that off and just 
live peacefully with me and my snakes and having the outlet to do YouTube and have people that can relate to how I feel you're not going down there bub even if you think that you are <laughs> thank you for popping that head back up sweetie hello darling lovely to see you as always but you know people get grumpy at me and often I get it thrown at me you think more of your snakes than you do of me or um, you spend more time with your snakes than you do with me uh, and so on and so on and uh, it's not about the not wanting just some days I, I just want to stay home and I've always been that way I've never been somebody that's been out I'm not a social butterfly I guess is the words like Lily is <laughs> she would go anywhere and do anything um, yeah you just realized oh there's a little place down there that maybe I could go and explore hey so you might be asking so what is this video gay what is this about that there are times when I feel different there are times when I'm treated differently. There are times when I get looks of that there's something wrong with me. Because I have such a passion and belief that snakes are entitled to live a better life than I think most people think that they should. Too many just see them as this thing that has no brain, that doesn't think beyond instinct, that is incapable of thinking beyond instinct, which is to eat and to breed. You know, if that were the case, why is it some snakes, like I've just done, don't feed, if it's instinct too? You know, that's a point that I want to sort of talk about like okay if it's instinct to eat why do some refuse and my point there was is there something going on with that snake that we don't know about but the snake knows about and hence doesn't eat I understand you know some are born knowing that is what they've got to do so we give them a helping hand and we show them how to do it. I am often told that I don't treat my snakes like they're snakes. And that I should. Remember that they're just a snake. And I don't want to treat them like they're just a snake. My goodness, I don't know how many times I might have this conversation with individuals. That isn't who I am and that's not what I believe. And I think too many people are just missing out on what they are. And I don't know whether I can put that down to because they're too lazy and it's work it's spending time it's taking the time to be with your snake it's taking the time to to get them out and let them come out and explore and do things a lot of people don't have the time I understand but then why have a snake and I can't put breeders in this category. We know why, why breeders have snakes. You know, it's not all about really what the snake needs. A lot of the time, it's about what that snake can give to them. 
in terms of the babies it will produce and that's fact you know that is fact and I can't categorize every breeder and be in that mindset but a lot are in that mindset so we also have the others that have them because they look pretty and they believe there's not much work involved in keeping a snake but there is work involved but it's it's nice work it's something that you enjoy doing it's like putting a a leash on a dog and going for a walk and taking it to a park and then taking the leash off and letting that dog run and play. We do that because we enjoy it and we do it because we know it's really good for our, for our dogs to actually do that. And no, we don't and can't take a snake to a park and let it go, but we can take them outside and let them do something and explore. We can have them inside and let them go exploring and get them out and give them some freedom. So, yeah, we all think differently, but it doesn't mean that any one of us is wrong. You know, it's sure I, you know, I wish more people would get their snakes out and give them some freedom as such. Or just get their snakes out. Full stop. You know, I'm not asking you to let them go and go wandering and go on up to hangout spots, but just to get them out and have some time with them and let them know that, you know, you are there and that you do care about them and you're taking care of them. And, um,. Yeah, I think if I chose to shut the door on Lily and never open it again for her at this point and say to her, no, you're a snake. You go in there and you stay in there and, and that's where you're happy. That's where you should stay. <laughs> I don't think Lily would be the same snake. I think um, she would be miserable and I think I would see a huge difference in her feeding and health, health deterioration as well. So I guess if you want your snake to be used to just sitting in an enclosure and doing nothing all of the time then don't start with the getting them out and giving them time with you. Just leave them. Because uh, it would be a lot harder on your snake to go from having that to losing all of that. So yes, I do spend a lot of time home with my snake and doing with my snakes and watching my snakes. I absolutely do. Do I prefer that? No, not all of the time. But I don't mind doing it either and I am happy to do it. So, that's really what I wanted to get off my chest a little bit. I don't want to be seen as somebody that's weirdly different to somebody that loves the snakes and I want the best for them to give them the best life that I can in captive care. They don't choose to be in captive care. We have done that. So why not give them the best life that we can? and show them that being in captive care is wonderful. So guys, you know, take care of yourself, your family and your 
and your stinks. And if people tell you that you're weird for spending so much time with your snakes, don't, don't think that you are. Don't ever think that you are because you're not. Not at all. Because if you're weird, then so am I. And I don't mind being weird. If I'm weird in this way and that's the only way that I'm weird in my life, I'll take that. I'll totally take that. And Lily's just going to chill there. Have you ever seen Lily lay so still for so long? I don't. Not very often, guys. Not at all. Might be not. Oh. Okay. A bit of a yawn. Alright, guys. I'm gonna go. I just can't believe she's just chilling. Hey. That's lovely, Lil. Alright. I've got some rodents to thaw and get ready for feeding today. Ciao.